uh, their quarterbacks, uh, a guy that, uh, you know, that was his second start and uh, is, is impressive. Um, Stone moves, moves in the pocket well, uh, is a quarterback run threat, and at the same time can make all the throws. Uh, had some big plays at receiver, a lot of speed, and the tight ends are really uh, multi-dimensional. You know, the receivers and their blockers, and then the running backs. I thought the depth at running back they did, you know, broke some big runs. And Johnson ran for 124 yards on on 14 carries, I think. So uh, the ability to do both to run the ball and then you know take shots. Really explosive. They got fast receivers. They recruited great in their. Um, in the transfer portal. So they got guys like um, Miami transfer running back Knighton. Um, their receivers fast, twitchy. They can make plays. They're going to take the shots. Like They're going to give us 50-50 balls. But in my, in my eyes, like we got to make those plays. Like We can't let them. It can't be called 50-50 balls. We got to have the higher percentage, in my opinion. So that's the DBs and what we're thinking. And so they're going to be high tempo, high run, high shots. And we just got to make plays. We can't give up big plays. Just keeping the same, keeping the same, like, mentality, like, you know, staying hungry. Like, Coach V said that even, like, at the practice, like, our our goal or our challenge is going to be, like, how hungry and how humble we're going to stay as long as the season go on. So, like, and we take this, we take one week and we take our first game as our best game or our biggest game of the year. So, like, I just say, like, going out this week, just staying hungry, you know, like, even though, Honestly, I think SMU is a great team, but like, of course, like politically, people think that plus SMU versus OU and stuff like that. But like, I feel like we don't take we don't take nobody no higher, no lower. Like we all keep the same standard. So I just say like, just keeping the standard, staying hungry and staying humble about everything, regardless of who we play. It's just more of like the the moving, uh, forcing us to communicate. Uh, I know they got a couple uh, speed guys things like that, but uh, like I said earlier as well, we pretty fast um, in every position. Linebacker ran 10-3, so like we, yeah, so like we can run, and uh, but any team that kind of, uh, kind of like hangs on their speed shouldn't, uh, so I feel like a lot of teams uh, this year is going to try to make us communicate more like they did with OU last year, but uh, uh, yeah, just keep preparing with our communication and doing what we need to do. Yeah, you got to play with good fundamentals. You got to understand the calls. You got to understand splits. You got to understand uh, situation. Uh, and then you got to apply, you know, the knowledge. You know, wisdom is the application of knowledge. So we give them the knowledge during the week. And, and then in all those situations, when they're out there on the field on their own, they need to apply it. And, uh, you know, so. Nothing more than that, you know. Of course, again, I, there's nothing easy about what I just said, uh, you know. So there's got to be a great process pre-snap, and then, uh, you know, post-snap, they've got to do a great job at finishing plays. The ball's going to be in the air. They're going to pull up on their bus, and they're going to launch that football down the field. And and our guys have got to do a great job of you know straining, you know, on the finish of of route.